Okay, we got this dude riding a tiger into combat. There's like a fish trying to attack him, a crazy monkey, a boar, a ninja, a freaking insane clown, ghost woman, some kind of old praying man made out of a tree, a dragon, wacky waving arm inflatable tube man. There's like horses going on. There's literally a horse race on behind him. There's fireballs, an amusement park. And what the hell is this guy peeking out here? It says the journey through 10 treacherous levels filled with mind twisting mazes, ruthless ghost warriors, and the mysterious white mirror where your courage will be revealed. I don't know about you guys, but this looks freaking exciting. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are checking out the classic game about ninjas. Ninjas on a mystical quest from back when Konami knew what they were doing. Of course, we are talking about the legend of the mystical ninja. And as you just saw, this game has an awesome box. It has an awesome cover. I am very excited to hop into this one and see what it's about. Everything I've read about this game so far tells me that it's going to have a whole lot of interesting stuff to do. It has tons of Japanese sort of flair to it and it mixes RPG and platforming elements. So, you know, hey, let's go ahead and do this. Now, this is actually a two-player game, uh, which I'll probably talk about a little bit more in a minute. But uh, I'll be playing it solo, but let me just say that this is a co-op two-player game. So if you have a buddy and you get intrigued by this video and you decide to check this game out, you guys can play simultaneously, which was not terribly common in a lot of games back in the day. So, you know, mark this one down on a list if, if you want to play with a buddy. This is one you might want to check out. So here we are in the Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Uh, that guy has the weirdest haircut ever. His, like, hair turns into a mustache. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to what he said. What are you talking about? Uh, you know about that beautiful girl? Sh crap, what did he say? Oh, you mean the ghost woman of the temple? Yeah, that's the one. I think he, he's attracted to ghosts. Something terrible has happened. What are those things floating near his head? I guess they're supposed to be flames. They didn't look like flames, guys. Oh, no! <laughs> hey, no close-ups. So this game has a lot of sort of Japanese comedy, and I already said flair to it. As we can see, it's kind of a silly game here, and and that's okay. That, that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, you know, there, there's something we said for games that don't take themselves too seriously sometimes. Talk is cheap. Let's go. I'm with you, Dr. Yang. So I guess my companion here is Dr. Yang. If we had a second player, he would be controlling him. I play a character named Gumon, and I am on a quest to fight the mystical ghost. Warlock Zone number one. I love the, like, retro Japanese music we got going on here. So, oh! <laughs> okay, am I supposed to be fighting these guys? I'm, like, hitting them with, like, what is this, like a pipe or something? I don't even know what's happening. Oh my god, a fish is- a, a fish was hurting me. That guy has like a basket on his face. It's not seem like an effective- oh my god, I, I'm so bad at this game. I, I don't even know- uh, so I, I have read that you start the game off in a, in town, like in a village, so I don't know if I'm like beating up villagers or whatnot here, but I'm just- I'm just gonna go- go with it because it's letting me do it. I stole that guy's cat! Oh my god! Normally when you beat guys up in video games, you get like coins and stuff. Some of these guys are dropping coins, but look, like he drops his fish. That guy dropped like a rolling pin. Oh, and somebody's cat. Oh, and I beat up a woman. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, let's stop beating up everyone that we can see because I'm not fully convinced that these are enemies. <laughs> I think we might just be hanging out in town. <laughs> First thing you do when you show up in town, yeah, we're definitely in town, is just like massacre everyone. Imagine you could do that in like The Legend of Zelda or something like that. That'd be hilarious. Um, welcome, we have everything you need. Uh, would you like to buy something? Um, well, it looks like you have slippers, and then on the far right, there's bombs. In the middle, I'm guessing that's sushi, but it looks like pizza to me. And personally, I would prefer if it was pizza because I don't like sushi, but I'm just gonna get out. Imagine if when you walked into a store, they're like, we have everything you need, and there's just like three items on the shelf, and they're like, would you like one of these? And you said, mm, no, and they're like, get out. No loitering. It's a very efficient business. Okay, I'm gonna try and not attack these guys. Will they hurt me? Will they hurt me if I just kind of like walk by them? 
I mean, they seem to just be wandering away from me. So I, I don't think I need to hurt them. Apparently there's tons of stuff you can do here in town. You can play like dice, you can gamble on races, you can play mini games of, like hockey even. Uh, you know, I'm getting sort of a River City Ransom kind of feel to the towns here. If you remember back when I played that game, there was lots of stores to explore. And I believe that this one also combines sort of RPG elements like River City Ransom did. We have to build up your statistics and stuff. So we will open soon. Just a moment. Okay. I mean, you could close your door. I guess you only have a curtain. There's no real physical boundary between uh, me and your store there. Um, okay. What am I... Where am I supposed to go? Do I go in this, like, question mark hut? I guess I haven't been in here yet. Let's check it out. Let's just go in every place that has a, an open door. I am a fortune teller. I'll tell you. Uh, you are hero of this story, aren't you? You will do a good job throughout your long journey. Joke's on you, pal. You haven't seen my other videos. I usually do a horrible job. <laughs> What do you guys think, actually? There's an interesting question for you. So you guys have now seen, like, over a hundred videos of me playing games. How do you guys think I do with these videos? So a lot of games I'm playing totally blind, have never tried them before. Uh, you know, I, I do my best to make sure that I kind of know what's going on before I start a game. Oh, you can jump. Whee! Look at this. <laughs> So I do my best to kind of make sure I know what's going on. I try to get pretty far in the games if I can, but you know, there's definitely been games where I've kind of felt like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing, I just gotta quit. Um, but I mean, you guys keep tuning back in and watching, so I must be doing something right. But what do you guys think? Was, was that psychic onto something? Am I gonna do a good job? Or in typical Gaming J fashion, is it just gonna be a struggle? Oh my god, these guys all turn into like glowing orbs and balls. Well, they're no longer human, so they displease me. So let's just destroy them all. Get out of here, you stinking ball. Boom. So the enemies constantly respawn. We have like this ghost mist going on in darkness. So these guys must be evil crap. I'm just like wasting lives left, right, and center. Who dies in town on the first level? That's what you need to be asking yourself. And the answer is Jay. <laughs> Look, as I said, guys. You don't tune in for the, like, ace gameplay here. You tune in, you tune in to watch me struggle. I think that's part of it. Horro. Sounds like horror. So I'm guessing this is where bad things happen. Ooh. What is this? This is the dangerous, or dangerous territory. Be careful to proceed with caution. Okay, thank you, inanimate statue that just evaporated. I'm not going to ask any questions about that. My guy is completely unfazed by that occurrence. Oh, look, I have a... My stick goes farther now. Huh, look at that. Okay, so when you venture out into combat in ancient Japan, all you need is, like, a really long stick for, like, smashing stuff. I would have assumed he had a sword or something. Uh, as I was saying before, though, my character, his name... Oh! Oh, I, like... My stick got shorter when I got damaged. Oh, maybe it's like Legend of Zelda, where if you have full health, then you have a long or better attack. Because in Legend of Zelda, you could, like, shoot things from your sword if you had full health. Anyway, my character's name is uh, Guman, and he's actually based on a mystical Japanese character named Guman, who was kind of like a Robin Hood-type character of sorts. I mean, I don't, you know, I just, I just sort of read a really brief summary on Wikipedia about this guy. Uh, uh, and not even the full thing. I read part of a Wikipedia article, and now I'm going to bestow, I'm going to drop some knowledge bombs on you. But Guman, he was basically sort of like a Robin Hood type character. He would steal from the rich and give to the poor. And uh, he suffered a very unfortunate fate. Oh, that worked very effectively. He basically, him and his son were boiled to death. Yeah, you heard me. They boiled him. That, that is a, that is a, a way you do not want to go. You know, like, going by fire is one thing, but boiling? Ugh, I, actually, I don't know which would be worse. In fact, I don't want to go either way, and I don't, I don't want other people to go either way. No matter what you've done, boiling to death, ooh. Oh, game over. Okay. So, we need to concentrate a little bit more in this game. But, you know, you may think, oh, that, what a weird character to base a game on. But, like, you know, it, it's no different than, like, if, if we based a game here in North America on, like, Robin Hood, which we do all the time, so, whatever. Um, I was thinking, actually, how it's kind of funny, like, every time I play these Japanese games, the sort of Japanese culture and the sort of mythology 
that you pl- that you see in these games is very different from what you see in the West. Like, you know, ghost spirits and temples and, like, Gumon and, like, samurai and stuff. It has this really, like, Japanese flair to it, as I've already said. I've used the word flair, like, a billion times in this, in this playthrough already. But it has this Japanese flair to it. And as a Westerner, my own perception is that it's kind of, like, funky and weird. And it, it's kind of exotic, and that's what makes it interesting. But it definitely seems very weird to me. And Westerners always say, like, oh, Japanese culture is so weird. But you know, like, honestly, oh my god, that statue, that looks grotesque. Like, just look at that guy's face. Is it even a statue? It's like some, it's the, it's the creepiest looking hobo if it's not a statue, it's a forest hobo. He just lives out here. But when you think about it, like, all, all mythology, no matter what culture you're talking about, is really weird. Like, you know, North American mythology and whatever, it's not any less weird. It's just we're kind of used to it because we are North Americans. So when we look at Japanese culture and we're like, boy, it's so bizarre. You know, that's, like, literally that's probably what aliens would think about our own culture if they were to come down. They would look at us and be like, are you kidding me? Like, superheroes and like, I don't know, what else is part of Western culture? Like, knights and dragons and stuff and, uh, uh, I don't know, sports? You know, like, you guys are weird. Like, we would just look so bizarre to aliens. And so, you know... Don't get too high and mighty is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> if you say, oh, Japanese culture is weird or something, it's no weirder than ours. Um, oh, yo, I got a yo-yo, man! Whoa! Okay, who goes into combat with a freaking yo-yo? <laughs> a badass, that's who. Oh, man, we... Oh, yeah, I want to get that tiger that we saw in the cover box. I want to be able to ride a tiger. Whoa, this yo-yo, this is, like, mega effective. Okay, I don't know how I got this thing, but we cannot lose it. I don't want to take a single hit because this thing is so damn useful. Boom, look at this. Man, the controls for this game are actually like really, really good. And I like that you can attack in all directions. It's actually like, it's it's a pretty good system here, actually. This is like a game that's so natural for me to play that I don't even have to focus. Oh, shoot. Damn, I got hit. And I'm down to my crack pipe. I'm, ba- I'm using a crack pipe. I swear that's what this is. It's like just his little crack pipe that he uses to attack. I've said crack pipe like a million times now. Okay, so those are spikes. Now, oh shh. <laughs> Where do you want to continue? The elephant or the raccoon dog? What? I don't understand the question. <laughs> elephant? Is that Was that the right choice? I see no elephant anywhere around here. <laughs> so bizarre! But I kind of love it. It's kind of awesome. Okay, so I think when you pick up the kitty cats, that's when you get like a better attack. That's my guess, because I got a cat last time, right before I got the better... Right before I got my, uh, my long crack pipe. It's kinda, it kind of goes from like a crack pipe to like a pimp cane to like a yo-yo. Which is like the natural progression of weapons when you think about it. Uh, yeah. Crack pipe to, to pimp game to yo-yo. That, that's how the world works. Oh, we're at the boss already? Um, this is not bode well. So this is the, like, sexy old woman ghost that the man was talking about? Eh, she's not bad looking. Okay. Uh, alright, so you gotta hit these things and not get hit by them. Oh man, we're gonna have to go back to the elephant real soon, man. Holy crap. Okay. Hit. Hit. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Ah, oh, damn it. <sighs> okay, let's try the raccoon dog this time. What difference will this make? Oh, it takes us back to the beginning of the level. Okay, raccoon dog is the, the bad option. Who knew? You know, when I was a kid, uh, seeing these Japanese games in magazines... So when I was a kid, by the way... Um, not every game that came out in Japan came out in North America. And by the way, this game, it came out in North America, but none of its sequels ever did. So I always remember as a kid, like, you'd get, like, Nintendo Power magazines or just, like, PC Gamer or whatever magazines there were. I can't even remember which ones I read. But I always remember seeing Japanese games or, like, games on the Super Famicom and stuff. And it took me a long time to figure out what the Super Famicom was. Because I just assumed that if we had Super Nintendos... Japan did too. I didn't realize it could possibly be different. 
but oh man, we need that the stupid <laughs> cat. Wow, this is how he ducks. Oh my god, he can crawl. Oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is your hero, people. <laughs> He's like doing the worm. Okay, uh, but I yeah. I, I didn't realize that there was a difference between Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom, but I always remember as a kid that you would see games in magazines and stuff, and they would be, like, exotic and cool-looking and stuff, and Japan always, always, always got more games than we did in North America. And I, I don't even... I wouldn't even say it sucked, because, like, we didn't even understand that we were kind of missing it. Like, in North America, honestly, it was kind of like... You just accepted that there were better and more games in Japan. And, like, once in a while, you'd, like, encounter that kid who's, like, dad did work overseas or something. And he would have access to, like, a Super Famicom or, like, some kind of, like, imported game. It was, like, a huge deal. You don't kind of get that very much these days because, like, it's, it's we've kind of reached an era where, like, it's just unacceptable to have games that are kind of region locked. Like, with the internet and stuff. If, if Nintendo tried to release a game and not put it out in all regions, you know what would happen is, like, pirates would just go ahead and pirate it, and everyone in North America would get it anyway. Yes, we got our yo-yo! Okay, now we can fight this old woman ghost. That's what I was trying to do there, by the way, is farming, farming some fireballs to try and get yo-yos, as you do. These, like, weird mushroom guys. Oh, get away from me! Get away! <laughs> this is how he flees. He just, like, does the worm. Yeah, those blue guys, they seem super ineffective. Boom. The yo-yo has crazy reach, man. I have never heard of, a, of like, a video game character fighting someone with a yo-yo. But I'm kind of down with it. I'm kind of down with the idea of it. Okay, now. What's the backstory for this, this old ghost woman? Maybe... Maybe... Maybe it's, like, really tragic. Maybe she was just, like, a woman who was, like, murdered in the forest, and she doesn't want to be here or anything, but, like, you know... Oh, God. Okay. Try not to get hurt here. Yeah, like, who knows why this ghost is here? Maybe she has more of a right to be here than me. And then I just show up, and I'm, like, killing her. I'm, like, ghostbustering her. Like, you stinking ghost. Ruining our beautiful forest. Oh, man, I'm, I'm crushing it here. I haven't taken a single hit. Yes. Yes! Yes! Oh, flawless victory, guys. Bet you didn't think I had it in me. Don't worry, I didn't think I had it in me either. Oh my! You're so strong. Wait, the ghost turned into a cat? I'm the Ninja Cat Kurobi. This game just reached a whole new level of awesome, guys. <laughs> I've been waiting for someone to help me out of here. There is no time to explain. Wait, you were waiting for someone to help you out, and so you took the form of a ghost woman who attacked anyone who showed up? Maybe not the wisest plan. Uh, take this $100 and hurry to Shiroki Island. Yo, not only did we defeat a ghost and save some kind of ninja cat, but we were also paid $100. This is the best day ever. <laughs> Go see the cat boss, Koban. <laughs> and then he turned into a ball and just flew away. Oh, this is this game's awesome, man. Okay, do we still have the yo-yo? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm not gonna attack these people because they are totally, definitely innocent villagers. Okay, that guy looks like he's having way too much fun just running around. We'll let him have it. I like the guy walking around with the bucket on his face. This is a secret maze. You may get lost inside, but there are many treasures to be found. It costs $100 to search. What do you think? Oh, shoot, I meant to say no. Good luck. Okay, well, we're gonna check out the maze now. Uh, okay. Here we go. Try to remember where we came from. So we came from... Oh, God. I, I hate these, like, puzzle areas in video games. I'm kind of just gonna exit. Sorry, there's no prize for leaving through the entrance. That's totally okay. I, you know what, I know myself, guys. I 100% would have been lost in there for like 40 minutes. And so we literally wasted our $100 Cat Ninja prize money. That's okay. 
It, uh, it was a poor investment on my part. Yeah. Come on, man. We can't jump over these things. Who leaves random barrels just lying around obscuring town? That's not cool. Okay, now I have no idea where the cat boss is. We're going to check out some of these. Uh, do you want to play any games? Let's just see what there is. Which game do you want to play? Mole, paint, or goblin? What is paint? It's like, here, paint a picture. Congrats, you win. The more you paint, the higher the bonus. But if you paint outside the lines, or if you lay paint too thick, you're fired. Do your best. Start. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I got $7 for that. I see. Okay, I hold on. Let's let's do that one more time. Literally, I, I painted over a spot I'd already painted, and I guess that's like a big no-no in the world of paint. Try again sometime. Okay. No wait. I, I totally want to try again, dude. Trust me. I can paint the crap out of your your little thingy that you had going on there. Okay, let's do this. See, this is part of the game. Apparently, it's known for having all like all these mini games. And this was like a big deal when the game came out. Like you gotta, you gotta remember the era that this came out. You wouldn't have had a lot of games that had tons and tons of mini games like this. So to to have something like this, you know, that you could play, and that there was all sorts of options and like how to play and like what you were gonna play and stuff. Well, it's getting faster. I thought I could do a better job than that, but ooh, I made hundred and nineteen dollars. So, yeah, there you go. You could just play paint forever, and you could make an infinite amount of money. People have made jokes about these, these, like, sort of mini-games in video games. You know, because, like, that, how could that be profitable for the store owner? Here's $80, and you paint, and if you draw enough color on a piece of paper, I'll pay you $119. That store owner would lose money hand and fist. This was the real world. He would just lose, lose, lose his money. <laughs> It's like uh, in Legend of Zelda, isn't there like, play money-making game, and it's basically three-card money, except you usually win more than you lose. Yeah, the store owner in that, he he definitely is going out of business within a week. He's not making any money. Okay. Ah, you jerk. Oh, and you took my yo-yo. Well, I straight up murdered you for that, and I'll kill you too, just because you're in my way. You jerks. What kind of town is it where these people are literally getting in the way of a legendary adventure? Oh my god! Not only did you steal my pimp game, you killed me and you game overed me! From the end of the previous journey, you dicks. Oh, and I got like nothing now. Ridiculous. Do I have to go save that ghost cat again? I better not. I swear to god. Now, this game, Legend of Mystical Ninja, here's here's like another interesting little funny thing, is that this game is literally side by side with The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past uh, in the book, Thousand One Games Just Play Before You Die, which I thought was kind of funny. It's like The Legend of the Mystical Ninja and The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, side by side, there you go. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, I think, of course, is a game that many more people know about, many more people people have played. I don't really know of anyone who's played this one. But so far, I'm having kind of fun with this, except I've hit a point where I'm kind of like, where do I go next? I need to talk to the cat boss. Is he like in here, in one of these doors? Get away from me. Okay. Oh, are you kidding? We, we have to do this part again? Oh. So, turns out it didn't save any of our progress. We have to do this quest again. We got these, like, you know what I noticed? These fireballs are, like, so happy. And then they kind of get killed, and they're like, whoa, what the hell happened? And, like, what are these soldiers thinking? These are just, like, random dead Japanese soldiers, and their whole strategy is to just, just walk at me. Just walk at me. Oh, you dick. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of not happy about how we have to, like, go back so far. I totally must be missing a save point or something. I don't know, guys. I, I thought we were doing pretty well. And we're totally missing that kitty cat. That's okay. Oh, my God. Boom. Nothing. We need the yo-yo. Oh, get away from me, you jerk. These fireballs are actually more trouble than they are worth. There must be a way to heal. 
and I just don't know how to do it. Ah, uh, no, no kitty. Here we go. Boom! Nothing. <laughs> oh man, don't you hate it when you think when you think you figured a game out and you're, go you're doing like pretty good at it and you die and it takes you right back to the beginning? Saddest part of gaming is being returned to the beginning of the game. The worst part is I've already died twice trying to recover my position in this forest. And oh, there we go, we got the yo-yo. And so I don't even know if it's like worth it to try to keep going or if I should just die again and like redo again with the, the right number of lives. I don't know, what are these things anyway? They're like umbrellas. Like they land and then they like hop around. They're all like, they're happy when they're floating and they're sad on the ground. Weird, like look how happy he is. And he gets to the ground, he's like, oh man. <laughs> So like, oh my god, and we just lost the freaking yo-yo. Uh, okay, we gotta we gotta keep going until we get the damn yo-yo again. Oh god, we're screwed. We, I might as well just die now. So we were we were charged with the quest of going into this mystical forest and like defeating the ghost. We've literally beaten up a bunch of people in town. We've painted a few pictures. And we've died repeatedly in the forest. And that's about our only legacy so far. So far we are not the legendary hero of old. Oops, what is this? We are not open yet. Please come later. It does not look like she's wearing very much clothes. Like, she's kind of like got a kimono on, but only half of her body is draped with it. I will be coming back later, if you know what I mean. I want to see where this goes. Oh, I was going the wrong way the whole time. <sighs> Alright, I fought my way back to the ghost woman with two lives. And boom, ain't no thing, did it without taking a hit. And we have once again rescued the cat ninja. And we are back on track. I decided to take a break from all this hero stuff to just straight up mug a bunch of people. Because why the heck not? Ain't nobody can stop me. I, I've just decided to become a career criminal, in fact. Oh, you jerk. Okay, somebody can't stop me. Turns out when you mug a bunch of townspeople, they might actually fight back. Until I get my yo-yo, though, I'm not gonna stop. Give me that cat! Yes! Yo-yo time, baby! Oh, we collect the women. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> we beat up the men and we abduct the women. God damn it, we lost the yo-yo again. Maybe, maybe becoming a career criminal here and just mugging a whole town of people is not the right way to play this game. Or maybe it is. Oh, come on, cat, cat, cat! Ah! Hate how these things disappear on you. Okay, fine. Let's stop mugging everyone in sight and continue with this game. I do like how you have to kill the men and collect the women, though. This is kind of hilarious. Women are just power-ups in this game. <laughs> they give you 50 yen. Slammed a yo-yo in that guy's butt so hard, he evaporated. When you walk around just with a pole pointing angrily, you're gonna yo-yo to the butt, sir. And you're gonna deserve it. Get out of my way! Get out of my way, you stink! I'm trying to save all you people. You ain't nothing but pain in my butt. Freaking beat all you to death with my yo-yo. My yo-yo of doom. Try taking a yo-yo out into a crowded public space and beating the crap out of people. See how that goes for you. So it turns out this is where we're supposed to go to get our next mission. I'm just gonna be a baller and go with Pack C because I got tons of cash. I'm rolling in it. $200 plus. There's no E. It's not please, it's plus. Uh, your life energy is increased by six. Yo, that is an awesome deal. Imagine you bought like a ticket for a plane. They're like, not only are we gonna give you first class, we're also gonna increase your vitality being on this flight. <laughs> what is happening here? I'm on a plane, repeatedly giving the, like, peace symbol with, like, some kind of female friend, it seems, and the other dude is just like, what is he doing? He's, like, flying on a kite behind it? When something's wrong in Edo, action must be taking uh, Kid Ying and Dr. Yang leave for Shikoku Island to meet the cat boss. Ooh, we got some nice 3D effects there on the map. Warlock Zone 2. Guys, we made it to Zone 2! I'm actually impressed with myself. Sometimes I don't get past the first level of these games, but it can't be said for the mystical ninja thing. Oh my god, the townspeople in this town 
Oh my god, they look even more foolish. What is happening here? When you dress like that and do this when you leave the house, you are gonna get a yo-yo to the ass. I am just saying, oh my god, the dog's attack will attack me. This, this what is with you? This civilization is ridiculous. I'm risking my life to save and stop throwing tins at me. Get away from me, you, you jerk. Get out of here. <laughs> I have never played a game we're like you have to fight the townspeople, and literally, what, what, are, and what, what's with these guys? It's like the town. I, I'm sorry, you know, I'm not usually one for like <laughs> going to these like these easy insults, but it's like the town of like really effeminate-looking dudes. It's like the most effeminate people I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> They're just like prancing around with little pink masks in their underpants. Oh my god, you deserve a yo-yo to the keister for that one. You too, buddy. We'll collect the old woman, because I, I assume you're supposed to collect females in this game. Forget stores, we just want to go on to the next awesome quest in this... in this world. Oh my god, there's like, samurais. Oh, they're chasing me! Get the hell away from me! Okay, clearly people in this... in this world do not want my help. They're just like, yo, screw that guy. He may be, like, killing ghosts and stuff that are terrorizing our forest. God damn it. I'm, like, gonna die on the bridge to, like, random street crime. I'm not even gonna get to fight the next, like, supernatural being. Give me the, give me the kitty cat. I like how it's the kitties that power up your weapon in this game. Jesus. This is actually, like, really hard, like, to get between areas. Uh, did I even make it anywhere of note? Or am I, like, just back at the beginning now? so lost. <laughs> Seriously, where do I go here? Oh my god, you guys, you're just embarrassing yourselves. I think I'm lost again, by the way. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Okay, if I have one complaint about this game, I, I've enjoyed this game so far, both its gameplay and its creativity, but if I have one complaint, it's like, it's there's not a real, real clear indication of where to go. I suppose you're just supposed to like go ahead and explore and like figure it out slowly, but uh, you know, it's 2016, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, I found this like weird festival. I'm just gonna kill everyone who's involved. I don't really know if these people are peaceful or what. I mean, they seem pretty peaceful. I feel like, like li literally, you know, when I read that you take on the role of like a legendary outlaw. Aw oh, man, there was a dude hiding behind there. <laughs> Suck, that sucks. When, when I read that you take on the role of a legendary outlaw like Robin Hood, like Robin Hood was an outlaw in the stories and stuff, but he didn't actually like kill townspeople. He, like, beat up the sheriff and stuff. Here they'd be killing townspeople, conversing with, like, strange forest hobos. This is dangerous territory. Be careful. Proceed with caution. Yo, I always proceed with caution. Okay, and now I'm rescuing a cat from some kind of, like, mechanized dog pig face. Ha ha ha, you must be Coben's cat partner. Yo, I'm nobody's partner, right? It's just a domestic relationship. Um, I'm ready for you. Let's fight it out right now. Okay. Oh, what the... I, I don't even know how to begin to fight you, sir. Okay, let's try and... Do this. Oh, I think I killed myself. Are you freaking serious? You, you better put me back in this weird, weird hellhole of a town. Yo, I just realized you can you can throw money in this game. You can literally throw money. Look, we <laughs> I now have no money, but you can throw money. That's actually kind of cool. It's not it's no ninja stars. I guess I would have hoped for ninja stars, but uh, just the fact that you have God damn it, a projectile weapon is kind of cool. Away from me! Give me some kitty cats. I need to upgrade my weapons. Get out of here. Take a crack pipe to the face. <laughs> That's like <laughs> a legendary outlaw at nothing. That's like literally criminal. To attack someone, smacking them in the face with a crack pipe. That, that's just straight up criminal. <laughs> there's there's no legendary nobility to it at all. It's just straight up being a criminal. Ah, you jerk. Need to get past those guys. Yes! 
Okay, we found our way back to this weird, harmless pagan festival, and we're just gonna literally murder everyone. Because uh, that's that's what a hardcore criminal like myself does. We got no time for peaceful celebration. Ooh, we got our yo-yo! Okay, this is it, guys. We're either gonna beat this guy, or we're gonna die trying. I think I know how to do this. Okay, th there was no warning that time. That was weird. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! You must be Coben's cat partner. Come on, I'm ready for you. Let's fight it out right now. All right, let's do it. Uh-oh. Yeah! That seems pretty easy. Okay, we can, keep, we can keep this up for a little while. Is there anything that you do to attack? I imagine I want to avoid those. Okay, but your attack pattern it confuses me because it's like highly ineffective. I don't know if there's something more to this that I'm missing. Okay. Ooh, let's try and like throw our things, <laughs> throw money at you. You know, you've heard the expression "just throw money at a problem and it will uh, go away." That's what we're literally doing here. We're throwing money at this guy. We're trying to buy him off. We're like, just take the cash, man! I don't want to fight you! There you go. There. Oh! Now we have to kill these things. Interesting. Okay. Oh, God! Ah! Ah! Okay. I thought they would shoot at me or something. This seems like a pretty nonchalant fight. Like... I don't really feel like I'm in too much danger here. Oh, these things do home at you, though. Okay. I think if I take one more hit, I'm literally dead, so I'm really trying my best here, guys. I'm trying my bestest. And I'm doing okay. Uh, ah. <laughs> I don't know what happens if he jumps and, like, lands on me. I kind of don't want to find out. Okay. I'm just gonna throw money at him. There we go. Solve that problem. Now do we hit him in the face? That, that that what comes next? Okay. Easy. Easy. Take our time with it. Don't mess it up. There's no need to get aggressive, Jay. Go at your own pace. What are we even fighting? He has, like, the legs of a sumo, the face of a dog, no arms, and, like, the head of, like, I don't know, the telephone pole. Whatever that thing was, it was an abomination unto God, and it deserved to die. Plus, it had a little kitty that could talk. So, of course, we had to defeat it and save the kitty. Thanks for helping me out there. I'm Coben Cat. I've been waiting for you. How did you hear about me, by the way? <laughs> Are we just waiting for anyone to come save you? We're a band of ninja cats. Protecting Edo is our responsibility. Well, you're not doing a very good job, let me tell you, because you're getting yourselves kidnapped all over the place. We're, on we're on a top secret mission. The precious Princess Yuki, the one and only daughter of the ruler of Edo, has been kidnapped. Oh, you're gonna go into a whole thing here. It's gonna. I. I didn't want to know all this, but just yeah, go ahead. Give me. Give me the whole backstory of the entire country while you're at it. Ninja cats on this top secret miss mission. What kind of game are we playing? Here? This is crazy. I think I know where she is. She seems to be taken by a mysterious group of masked men. These masked men have special weapons that cripple our ability to change forms. Is these special weapons of theirs that have caused so much trouble? But we've learned something that the horrible Utafu army and above of oh my god, kidnap women. They must have taken Princess Yuki. She has to be there. Please help me. We beg of you. Save the Princess Yuki. Okay. TLDR. We gotta save Princess. That's basically the gist of it. And we worship cats. Ninja cats. Oh, <laughs> we got fireworks. <laughs> These little cutscenes are kind of fun. You know what I, I'm going to do? Okay, uh, we've been playing this for quite a while. I'm not going to do another level. Um, I think we're starting to get a feel for it. It's sort of these explore, find these bosses, and fight kind of uh, kind of game. Uh, I, I am going to go and try one more mini game though. I want to try this game called Goblin. Oh, amusement park. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder is it automatically going to teleport us there? We're going to have to find a way like we did last time. Oh, look at this. We're beating up a whole different type of villager now. What is happening there? Those are like people peeking out from behind a bridge? I, d 
don't even, I don't even want to know. Not even kind of curious. These, like, poor dudes, they're just like, ugh. You jerks. Oh my god, this is like a death trap. Stop throwing these things. These guys, is, he's just, like, walking to work. Look, he's trying to avoid me. Boom, give me your money, son. Oh my god, there's a whole amusement park here. I was gonna play a, a, a game of Goblin, but I don't know if I'd even be able to find it. <laughs> I'm beating up clowns. <laughs> Beating their heads off. That is kind of awesome. Can we go on like a ride or something? Welcome. Hi, come in. Would you like to something to eat? Yes. Give me a burger. Thank you. Yo, it healed me. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. I should have been healing this whole time. Here I am like losing lives. I probably could have walked into shops in like any one of these towns and like healed myself. Yep. It, it always comes at the end, Jay. Hey, the Konami logo. I always figure these things out just as I'm done playing. How about joining the Otafu army? You can have fun while making lots of money. Yes. <laughs> what a sales pitch for an army. Come join the army. You'll have fun and make lots of money. Um, no, it's okay. I don't want to, I, I don't want to, like, commit myself to a whole army thing here. I'm just killing people for fun. I don't want to do it for the government. That'd be, just be foolish. Oh man, Are, is there nowhere to play games? That makes me sad. What is happening here? Oh my god, this is awesome. Look. <laughs> we can be a sumo. That is so cool. I guess if there was two players, the other person could be here. And he could be like, uh... He could be like the the like a geisha. Is that what they're called? I can't, like can't get in the right spot. There we go. All right. Uh, that's awesome that these are in the game. You know what? Um, I, we should we should totally start wrapping up here uh, and and figure out you know what we think of this game. So first of all, what did we learn here today, guys? I think we've learned that in feudal Japan, you cannot trust the villagers to be on your side. It is safest just to straight up murder them all. I think we also learned that there is a secret band of ninja cats that have been protecting us for a long, long time. Especially our Princess Yuki's. Where would Princess Yuki's be without the ninja cats? Ooh, there we go. I think we've also learned that the yo-yo is a highly effective weapon in combat, and that the order, the hierarchy of weapons, really goes crack pipe, pimp cane, yo-yo. They kind of maxes out a yo-yo, really. If we're talking melee weapons, yo-yo is kind of, oh my god, it's a giant octopus. Oh, don't try and run past him, he'll probably just kill me. But yeah, yo-yo is kind of the, the pinnacle of modern melee weapons. Or at least in, in feudal Japan, I suppose it was. I guess we've moved past the yo-yo these days. But anyway, um, pros and cons. So the pros of this game are that it is a very inventive and creative platformer slash RPG game. It actually has tons and tons to explore. You know, to be totally frank with you guys, like I have just scratched the surface. There's tons of mini games, tons of things I haven't fully checked out. And I've seen them there in the background. There's like a giant squid attacking a building in the background while we just like casually eat things. The, another pro is that this game has so much personality and comedy and so much sort of fun Japanese-ness to it. It's, it's a really interesting game. A really interesting game that is definitely pretty cool. Oh my god, we just made it to the next level. Was that a boss I just beat? It was like so nonchalant, I had no idea it was even a thing. Okay, well, we'll, we'll beat another boss while I wrap up here. Oh, we're in like a totally nether village. Um, what are the cons of this game? I suppose that it definitely... There, there's definitely very little guidance in terms of where to go and what to do. Like, after beating that ghost in the forest, she was like, you have to, like, go to, like, this island. And sort of like, okay, but, like, how do I get there? And I actually had to look up the fact that I was supposed to go to that, that travel agency and figure it out. Now, you know, if I wasn't playing this for a video, I probably would have taken my time and gone into each store, and eventually I would have figured it out. So it's, you know, like a lot of these old games, sometimes you just have to try stuff and be really patient with it. So if you're willing to kind of explore everything that this game has to offer, I think that, you know, you're going to consider this to be a pretty, pretty damn good game. I think something else I will say is that the controls are very nice. I never felt like I was really fighting against the controls. You know, there's, 
You know, maybe I could say, like, at one point I was trying to, like, do jump up and do, like, a jump attack in the forest, and I kept getting hit in the head because my attack was coming up fast enough. That's, like, maybe all I could point to. I like the fact that you can, like, duck and crawl and worm around on the ground and stuff. Uh, the jumping feels really good. This, this game controls very well and has tons to explore. So, you know, is this a game you should play before you die? Yeah, I definitely think this is. Uh, this, this game strikes me as one that has a lot that probably a lot of people might end up uh, enjoying. Uh, ooh, let's get a suite. Let's go for the big box. We're just spending all our bank here. <laughs> ah, so peaceful and serene. Well, on that note, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my little playthrough here, just sort of scratching the surface of the... What's this game called again? The Legend of the Mystical Ninja. And if you have... Uh, hopefully you'll give this video a like and or you will subscribe because I will be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. And if you've enjoyed this video, hey, you might enjoy the next. So until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves. And as always, peace. So this is Goblin, by the way. You're just trying to throw a ball literally at a goblin's head. And it is so hard. It's crazy. Oh my god. I So you have to hold the button to throw farther, but the stupid thing is like moving left and right. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to do this. Okay, well, this this has been this has been Goblin. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. 0 points and 0 dollars. I want to go back to painting.